Hello, my name is Carrie Smith and I'm a reading coach with Isle of Wight County Schools. In this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what these color levels mean and what your children are learning in each one. American Reading Company has designed their levels to meet the needs of all learners. Today, we will focus on the Read to Me through White levels. The Read to Me level is the first level for our students. This is where students are exposed to many, many books and begin to understand how books work, including how to hold them. Next comes our yellow level. Yellow level readers are placed into three categories, 1Y, 2Y, and 3Y. In 1Y, students are learning that the books follow a pattern. If you look to the right, the pattern is, I found the. A 1Y student will know that each page begins with, I found the. A 2Y student not only remembers the pattern, but can also point to each word on the page. That brings us to 3Y. When students are in this stage, they can remember the pattern, they can point to each word, and now they're looking at that last word and using their knowledge of letters and sounds to figure out what that word may be. I found the s. What's a word that looks like that and begins with s? Slide. One green readers, or one G readers, are really beginning to build their power word knowledge. Power words are words that occur often or they may not follow regular patterns. Students are building this knowledge of automatic words and still using their beginning sounds to figure out new words. And that brings us to two green readers or two G readers. In this level, students are continuing to build their power word knowledge. We are going to add over 120 more words that the students will know on site. We are also adding in blends and digraphs for them to work on. Digraphs are the sounds that CH, SH, and TH make. Welcome to One Blue. 1B readers are now going to take all of that power word knowledge and they are going to begin to sound out new words. They are going to look for chunks that they know, see if there are any smaller words in a big word, like and, hand, and they are going to learn one syllable word patterns. Hello to B. As it sounds, we are moving from one-syllable words to two-syllable words in 2B. We will still look for smaller words inside bigger words. The students will be able to work on compound words when two words come together to make a new one, like sun, shine. And they'll be looking at endings like ing, er, ed. One of the other major learnings of this level is known as the single double consonant rule. When we're learning if it's a long vowel, like cuter, or is it a short vowel, like cutter? We've tackled one syllable words, we've tackled two syllable words. Now in one R, students are tackling three syllable words, like one, der, full. They're looking at common endings, three-letter blends, and as with all of the levels, does it make sense? In 2R, our students are in the final level where they are learning to figure out new words. Now, they can work on any multisyllabic word, and they have to figure out, does it make sense? They need to be flexible with their sounds to see which way the word makes sense. They're also using prefixes and suffixes to figure out those words. Hello, white level readers. 
these students can now figure out almost any word you put in front of them. So now they need to read to learn. They need to start figuring out what do these words mean and building that rich vocabulary. Begin using words in their everyday speech and using their knowledge of prefixes and suffixes to figure out what they mean. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that it has helped clear up a little bit of what all these letters and numbers and colors mean. Remember, we are trying to build readers and writers one small step at a time. Please remember to keep reading.